Hi, this is Jeffrey, and today I'm going to take a look at the Colorburst 100 Instant Camera from Kodak. Now, this is a very interesting camera. It's very nicely designed, uh, and it aesthetically, it's, it's actually very interesting and very pleasing to look at. This camera was part of Kodak's Instant Camera line called the Colorburst, and they also had uh, an EK line. Uh, that was similar in design to the Colorburst. But this camera was released in 1978 at the cost of about $45. Uh, it is a very nice camera that has a fake uh, leather uh, insert. And it has, as you can see, three main colors, black, brown, and a silvery white color. And it is just really nice to look at. Now, uh, this camera took PR10 film, which is no longer available. Uh, so it's like nearly impossible to take pictures with this film. And I just collect these because I just like the way they look and because this is, it's a part of history. And no one today really sees these kinds of cameras anymore. Uh, I bought this off of eBay for about $8.00. And this example is in absolutely pristine condition. I mean, it's in like practically mint condition, especially something, you know, from 1978. It also came with the box and the instruction manual, as well as uh, an unused uh, sheet of stickers for your initials, which I will show you that you put on the back of the camera. Now, this camera is, is a really good size camera. It uh, has some weight to it, you uh, probably wouldn't want to carry this around too much, <laughs> but uh, I guess back in, in the 1970s, people did. Now, to insert the film, you have to open it up from the bottom, like this, and oh, the battery came out. So, that's how the film was put inside the camera. And just to take a look at the battery, It was an EverReady size J 6 volt battery that was inside the camera. I don't know if there's any power to it left, but I don't think so. I, I doubt it, but that's the type of battery that it was, that it had to use. Now, taking a look at the side of the camera, it had the shutter. And this is like a glossy black oil. This is more of a matte or flat black. Turning around here, you see the eyepiece. And up here are three spaces for initials. And the camera, the seller, sent along an unused sheet of initials. So look at that. So you would take these stickers off and put them in those three spaces on the top. So turning around here, you see on this side there is a space for like an eyelet for the strap, which it didn't come with. It didn't have the strap, but I don't really need the strap. And here is a tripod mount. So coming back to the front, you can see that this camera, incredibly, was made in the USA. You don't see that too often anymore. You don't see cameras made in America anymore. But this one was. And so were all of the others. Now, there were other color bursts. There was like the color burst 50, the color burst 250, and it was the Colorburst 300, which had a similar design to this one, uh, more similar than the others. It had, it had the, the false leather panel. And except the only difference here, except uh, in the, on the 300, is that this was all black. This was not like a silvery white color. This is all black. Uh, and it also came with the Colorburst 300 came with a flash uh, unit on top. 
while the Colorburst 100 didn't. So I believe the Colorburst 300 was a much, much more expensive camera. So here is the box. This is actually the back of the box of the Colorburst 100 camera. As you can see, it has a nice colorful uh, graphic that says Colorburst 100 Kodak Instant Camera with the Kodak logo on the bottom left. So let's see what it says here on the side. Uses Kodak Instant Print Film PR10 for instant color pictures, color by Kodak, elegant satin luxe finish, horizontal or vertical format for variety in picture taking, and beautiful copies and enlargements can be made. So here was the front of the box, and you could see the styrofoam inserts. And let's see what it says on this side. Easy to use. Automatic motorized print ejection. Automatic exposure control. Zooming circle focus aid. Uses flip flash or electronic flash, including the Kodak Instant Flash Model B. Next strap, one J size battery. The manual. And the manual is, is also very, very interesting. So let's let's take a look at that. So here, <laughs> here are some photographs inside the manual of how to use the camera. And look at that. What I want to do is buy a flash bar. I want to buy a flash bar for this camera. Like the way this, <laughs> this guy is holding it with the flash on top. So eventually I want to buy one of those. Because that looks really interesting. Ima imagine this camera with a flash bar on top. That looks really great. And so it has all of the parts of the camera here. And the rest of it the rest of it is is just basically a written manual. And it's in multiple language languages. Chinese, Arabic, Spanish, French. So this is the manual for the Colorburst 100. Now, this camera, like I said, is, is a very attractive camera. Uh, one thing that I've noticed on some Facebook groups are people comparing the Star Trek tricorder to this camera, and that very possibly this camera was influenced uh, by or inspired by the original Star Trek tricorder on the original series. And... I think uh, that's a possibility. That's definitely a possibility uh, because there, there, there is some similarity in terms of the design and the size of this camera. But overall, I really like it as a display piece. As a display piece, it works really, really well. Uh, so if you buy one, the chances of you ever taking pictures with this camera are probably zero. You will probably never take any pictures with it. But you will probably uh, want to put it on a, a shelf or a mantle and just show it off, especially if you could find a good one. Finding a good one cheap is not all that easy. Uh, luckily, I was able to find this cheap one, uh, which was in excellent, excellent condition. And so I'm pretty happy about that. So hopefully you have enjoyed this short look at the Kodak Colorburst 100 and I thank you for watching.